Schools across the state have remained closed during this crisis. So what does this mean for students and particularly for those about to graduate? Tennessee education officials address that question. News Force Alan Frio joins us now with this story. Alan. Well, Tracy, schools like H.G. Uh, Hill Middle School here on Davidson Road have been closed for weeks now, and there's absolutely no sign that they'll be reopening anytime soon. Now, I spoke with Dr. Uh, Sarah Morrison. She is the executive director of the State Board of Education. Just moments ago, and here is what the State Board of Education is proposing for students in grades 8 through 12 now that schools remain closed. Listen closely. Any student who's enrolled in a high school credit course, we are proposing that their grade would be frozen as of March 20th, 2020, which is when the governor issued his executive order regarding the COVID-19 public health crisis, and that districts would have the opportunity to provide additional opportunities to improve that grade, but it would not go lower than it was on March 20th. So there we go. Again, this is a proposal that the State Board of Education will be voting on on Thursday, and there's all indications that it definitely will pass. Now, another question I'm sure students and parents are asking, will schools reopen again for the remainder of the school year? Where Dr. Morrison and uh, the state's uh, Board of Education address that too. They say they have absolutely no authority to reopen schools and they deferred to the governor. They said that is up to the governor. But as we just heard in the past few minutes now, the COVID epi uh, epidemic continues to spread here in Tennessee. So there's no indication that will happen anytime soon.